but they treat me like the OG. And they want the tea on me, I swear these bitches nosy. Said he put some money on my head, I guess we gon' see. I won't put no money on this head, my niggas owe me. I gotta be single for a while, you take Hey guys. Hey guys. So, I'm back. I'm just here trying to reorganize this inventory. I don't know what's going on. It's just a whole bunch of shit everywhere, so... I'm here separating all the hair and I'm like putting everything into separate boxes now so I got this space mainly because I needed more storage space for my inventory I sell here. For those of you who don't know, I have a website, Sobo Boutique and yeah so I sell a bunch of hair. I sell a bunch of hair to, to basically sum it up. Um, I have no more space anymore so I got this bigger suite to pretty much be able to have everything in stock opposed to having to reach out to my vendors constantly to drop shit because I can't save anything in my suite. So yeah, I have this storage room. I'm gonna show you how messy this desk right here is. Y'all, I have not had any time to freaking properly set myself in this room. I feel like such a boss babe in my office chair rolling around. Yeah, these are, I just got these from Amazon. Nothing fancy. I just needed to come hold my hair. 613, 24. 613, 24 inch. Sometimes my vendor forgets to label these bags for me. So when I receive them, I usually have to go over it and label them myself. So this is 22 inch, 613. This is how my vendor will usually label it when they ship it to me. So my packaging is usually on it. Sometimes they put the number, I have to write it in for this one. But yeah, that was my old logo. I made a new logo, but like, I don't know, owning the business is so funny. Like, one minute you're satisfied with what you got, and the next minute you're looking to change it. And it's like, damn, like, did McDonald's change their logo like 50 times, or did they just make one and stick it out? <clears throat> so, yeah, like, I made a new logo last year, and I'm already thinking about changing it again. I need to just. I need to just not. I'm Bender. Send me some goodies so we can actually do an unboxing real quick. Let's see what I got. First of all, I love my vendor. They always send me gifts when I buy my big orders. Let's see what they sent me. I feel like it's eyelashes because I don't know. Ooh. I'm not going to wear it, but it's the thought that counts. It's so cute. Like, they had gave me... Shoot, I don't even know where it's at. They had sent me this Dyson roller set when I made my last um, big purchase with them. And they sent me, like, a studded rhinestone hair dryer. I was like, y'all are so thoughtful. Like, they better, right? Because... So, I ordered some 613 bundles because I have none. Literally, I have none in stock in my in my own inventory, so somebody actually made an order this week. I'm going to show you guys my 13 my 6 front was in a minute. 24 inch. And these are all 613 bundles. So these, are, these are the two that I got to ship out. So yeah, you know, everybody usually gets the 13 by 4 frontals. This is a 13 by 6 frontal. This is nice and big, like, I don't think you understand. This is really a game changer. This is transparent lace, and I like HD. I'm an HD girl, but everybody cannot use HD lace because of the fact that people, some people are very rough with their hair, and when they take their wigs off, they just rip it off, and HD is very thin lace, so when you just are constantly ripping thin lace, it's going to not... It's not a durable lace, like it's just gonna be ripping. So transparent is also good. If you if your hairstylist knows how to do hair really well, they can work with this type of lace. 
it's still it's still good but yeah y'all 13 by 6 i'm gonna add these on the site soon y'all one of my clients she's so sweet janae she made me this duffel bag first of all i'm not aka every time i show people this bag they be like are you aka i'm not aka but my client she made me this duffel bag at her job and she made me this second bag i use it sometimes when i travel out of the country she made me this bag and then she made me this bag she made me like three bags but this is so cute i really love my clients like they always show me love I'm telling y'all, like, it's easier to turn a client into a friend instead of turning a friend into a client. Like, my clients always show me love and really support. Like, the clients that tip, pay their full price, come back every month, like, those are really my celebrity clients. And, yeah, so this is my traveling bag. Like, I, this was my traveling bag for the day, but this is my new traveling bag for when I do events, celebrities this i haven't used it yet but i needed something that had wheels because i bring a lot of things when i travel especially when i'm doing wigs and i cannot be getting scoliosis like i cannot be breaking my back these are my tape in my raw tape in so the girls literally bought everything like i'm sold out of the tape in. and Clients usually use about four packs of these to get a full, a full head. Y'all, these tapings smell so good. But look at this hair. Like you can see the luster. Look at me promoting myself. You can see the luster. You can see every this hair will last you five years. But not nah, I'll just say y'all. My raw Indian hair, I get the best reviews on. Like this is one thing I'm confident in selling because I know. Anybody that buys it, loves it. I've never gotten a bad review about my raw hair. Period. If you're not wearing Sovo Boutique, what is you even wearing? What is you even wearing? Yeah, I'm so glad I moved my suite. Like, I could never take YouTube videos. That's why I haven't really posted, number one. I could never take content and, like, actually talk in my videos. My last week had no privacy it had no ceiling so number one you can hear everybody else's suites whatever they're doing in there and then they can hear what you're doing so it's like who wants to record a youtube video and you have people listening or you have people talking in your video so that's why i really could never record and do content like this but i'm so glad i made the move yeah i posted i'm just posting on my story at the same time um I got this cute little, you see how messy this place is? I got this cute little phone stand on Amazon. Somebody told me I need to make an Amazon link. Um, I need to look into that. It's just so much things I need to look into. If it's not my business and my services I gotta freaking catch up on, it's social media. Like, that's where the bag is at right now. But besides that, I have to post at the same time and do this. So, that's just what I'm doing. I look busted, y'all. I'm a hairstylist, but if your hairstylist is not kind of busted she not really get hairstyles all right guys i finally cleared off my table um i organized everything where needs to go for now my capes robes um working belts towels are up there Hair, 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 and packing supplies are down there. And yeah, I just added, added an outlet on the floor. This is my, I don't know what I'm going to do with this at the moment right now area. Um, that's my old logo sign. I'm actually going to get a new one soon, so you guys are going to see that. I don't know what I'm going to do with this bench. Um, I don't want to throw it out, but it's like I don't have any use for it anymore. But it could stay put in here for now until I find a new home. I'm just going to take this apart and then transfer everything over into a regular dome cap. So as you can see, this is like one of my adjustable closure caps that I like to use. 
so much. You guys, let me give you a video on how to construct a wig with a sewing machine. Just let me know. Busy body, baby, if you want me, can't be turning up with everybody. Nah, can't be fucking on this anybody. Yeah, I got feelings for you, that's the thing about it. Yeah, you know that it's something when I sing about it. Yeah, mama used to be on disability, but gave me this ability. And now she walking with her head high and I'm back straight. I don't think you're feeling me, I'm out here being everything they said I wouldn't be a criminal. Let me know if you guys would be interested in subscribing into a subscription of like a wig making series on how to make wigs, customize them, fitting it, taking taking your measurements for your clients. Like, let me know if you guys are interested in me putting up like a series for that. Hey guys. Welcome back to my channel. I'm tired. But so you guys. So I got like a um a comment from one of my subscribers asking me what are like my shampoo products that I usually like my go-to shampoo products and conditioners and my favorites. So I'm gonna give you guys a little like a little bit of a um a breakdown of what I what I use. So for my daily I usually use Kenra. My favorite is I go in with the clarifying shampoo and then I'm I love the thickening shampoo. This isn't one of my favorites. I'm not too crazy about this, but this is one of the conditioners that I do go back and forth between. And this is one of my favorites right now, the thickening conditioner. This is all by Kenra. This is a platinum edition and this is just like the clarifying. It this is my favorite overall. I have some more. So, I don't know if you guys can see. So, this is one of my faves, Mizani. This gets really good with, with thicker coarse hair. One of my favorites. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's not... I don't know. It's not focusing. I love this. It smells great. Um, one of my clients actually put me on to Taraji's collection. My client, she suffers from psoriasis. And she says that this scrub, sorry, I had a brain freeze. This scrub, this is not even it. This is it. This scrub shampoo has been helping her with her psoriasis. So she washes her hair weekly now. And she goes in with this and she says it's been helping her with her her scalp. I love Matrix. Matrix is one of my favorites as well. I like to also like alternate in between. So one week Kenra is my favorite and then I'll double back and go back to Matrix. But I like this one, the Cool Mint Scalp. It smells good too. Let me make y'all smell it. Yeah, it smells good. It smells like mint. I like this one as well. This has like aloe in it. I wish I could show you guys, but I only have two hands. This is my favorite. I love Paul Mitchell. Paul Mitchell has a good um Paul Mitchell has a good clarifying shampoo. I haven't been able to get my hands on it lately, but I like the Paul Mitchell. Pretty much all of my shampoos and conditioners are professional professional brands none of that target brand this is the only target brand i have and this is because my client recommended this so i tried it out on her but besides that i like to do everything professional i also use the kenra sorry the kenra luxe shine shampoo conditioner this is a platinum edition but this is for like luxe i do love how it gets my clients hair looking i usually like to use these when i do tapings Especially on all jet black. I don't know why. Um, I like to go in with this shampoo scrub. Especially for the girls that have that need a little bit more love on their scalp. You know, that suffer from like dermatitis, um, psoriasis, 
or if my client hasn't washed their hair in a very long time i like to go over it with the scrub just to give like an, a good exfoliation on the scalp on the scalp i use the blonde the blonde me um so when i bleach hair and i only bleach extensions i don't bleach natural hair but when i bleach hair i like to use this brand to to wash and condition with so it comes in a this shampoo and conditioner um when i do my mask Kenra is my go-to i have a couple other masks i haven't tried this one yet i've seen that it had a lot of reviews good reviews on amazon i'm definitely gonna try this one myself first mazani has a good a good one as well but this is my favorite like this it gets your hair nice and soft everything else is just little like my uh my is okay i'm not crazy about it but some of my clients like it so i like to have things that my clients use so you know if they have their preference we can use that instead um i use this on my extensions when i color or when i'm just washing this um this flavor this one this bottle is better than the regular silicone so this is what i've been using on my extensions this is the bomb.com um that's it for now